Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix Wi-Fi driver software not successfully installed problem in Windows 7, Windows 8.1 and latest version of Windows 10. There are several reasons that could cause this to happen. The problem could any. It could be failure of Wi-Fi hardware component and one of the most common reasons of this problem when Windows fails to provide generic driver for the device. Generally, we know that Windows provides generic driver for many external devices. That's why we don't need to install driver manually because Windows will install driver software automatically as soon as the device is plugged to our computer. But if there shows that device driver software was not successfully installed, it means in this case, you need to download and install the driver software manually. The downloaded driver can always be installed by just double clicking on the executable file, I mean .exe file. If the driver can't still be installed successfully, then try this method, which that I showed off here. So let's get started. At first, let me show you what's issue happened in my case. Yeah, as you can see that there is no Wi-Fi driver software installed here. And as you can see, here only installed Ethernet driver software. And let me show you when I'm going to install the device driver software manually by just double clicking on the executable file. Then during installation, showing here that the device driver software was not successfully installed. And one more thing, if you are lucky, maybe this simple manually device driver installation procedure will be working for you. If the device driver software can't still be installed successfully, don't worry about it. Whatever the issue, now let's fix it using the advanced method. At first, you have to find the Wi-Fi hardware information using PForms software PC. You can download this PC by googling on your smartphone, then move it to your computer and install it. Alright, then go to network information tab. Then you will see the Wi-Fi hardware information. As you can see, my PC has Qualcomm Athros network hardware component. Model number is AR956X. Next, you have to download Wi-Fi driver software from manufacturer website according to your PC's network hardware. I have already downloaded according to the network hardware information. So I'm not downloading it anymore. Alright, let me show you. Yeah, as you can see. Now I'm just extracted. Alright, here's only these two files are usable for this advanced method. Other files will not be required. This nether.inf file is for 64-bit system and another netherx.inf file is for 32-bit system. Alright, now just follow me properly. Now go to control panel. Next go to device manager. Next select other devices directory. Next go to action. Then click on add legacy hardware. Then click on next. Then select recommended option and click on next. And next. Now just scroll down and select network adapters. Then click on next. Next select Intel Corporation from manufacturer option. Just scroll down and select Intel Wi-Fi link 5100BG. Then click on next. And next. Then click on finish. Next go to device manager and select Intel Wi-Fi link 5100BG and right click on it and just disable it as you can see all right next go to network and sharing center next go to change adapter settings and now just refresh once all right next right click on wireless network connection then click on properties 
नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन कॉन्फिगर नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन ड्राइवर देन क्लिक ऑन अपडेट ड्राइवर नेक्स्ट चूज द ऑप्शन ब्राउज माई कंप्यूटर फॉर ड्राइवर सॉफ्टवेयर देन सिलेक्ट द ऑप्शन लेट मी पिक फ्रॉम अ लिस्ट ऑफ डिवाइस ड्राइवर ऑन माई कंप्यूटर और राइट देन क्लिक ऑन हैव डिस्क बटन एंड देन क्लिक ऑन ब्राउज और राइट नाउ सिलेक्ट मेथड डॉट आई एन एफ फाइल्स एस फॉर योर पीसी सिस्टम फॉर थर्टी टू बिट और सिक्सटी फोर बिट आफ्टर सिलेक्टिंग नाउ जस्ट क्लिक ऑन ओपन देन क्लिक ऑन ओके नेक्स्ट सिलेक्ट डिवाइस मैन्युफैक्चर फ्रॉम मैन्युफैक्चर ऑप्शन नाउ जस्ट कॉल अप एंड डाउन टू सिलेक्ट द वायरलेस नेटवर्क एडोप्टर मॉडल नंबर My wireless network adapter model number is AR956X. I just select it as you can see. Then click on next and then yes, that's it. Yeah, as you can see here shows that the installation is progress. Yeah, done. As you can see here shows that your device is ready to use. All right, real shows that device driver software was successfully installed. Now let me show you by wirelessly connecting to the internet. Yeah, done. As you can see, we hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.